In this video, I'm gonna show you four cinematic techniques so that you can get better footage when you're flying your FPV drone. So whether you're flying something like a DJI Neo, a DJI Avada 2, or another type of drone, these techniques are really gonna help you get some good footage when you're out flying. There's a few levers that we can pull to be able to get better looking footage. Now, the first is gonna be ND filters. And some people love the look of it, some people don't really care, but to get to more of the cinematic feel, you could use an ND filter to add motion blur into your shot. And motion blur is when the image is blurry. So when I freeze this frame here, you could see that there is blur happening versus this frame here, which is shot without an ND filter, there's, there's no blur. And that's because the shutter speed is super high. And so putting an ND filter on is basically like sunglasses for your camera. And when you're flying in this way, you see lots of motion because you have motion blur in your shot. This is one tool that you can use and how you're gonna use this is basically you'll put on the ND filter, you're gonna flip the drone into manual mode and you'll set your shutter speed at double that of your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 30 frames per second, you put it at 1 60th. If you're shooting at 24, you put it at 1 50th. If you're shooting at 60 frames per second, put it at 1 1 20th. And then what will happen is there'll be more motion blur when all of your other settings are adjusted to be able to get proper exposure. Now, another tool that you could use is by just flying full manual. So setting your exposure so that there's no fluctuation in your shot. Now, this is good when you're shooting something like a sunset. So when you're flying in and out of different locations, you wanna make sure that you have a consistent shot from end to end, and you don't see like the image go bright and then back dark and then bright and then back dark. So by controlling your image, you're gonna be able to get better looking footage so you don't see a variance in your exposure or your white balance by setting a specific white balance when you're out flying. Now, the third way to get good looking footage is by flying close to objects. This is a big factor with FPV footage. You wanna get closer to objects because you are flying so fast and you're, you're flying in this POV way, you wanna fly closer to objects. With another style of drone, big open landscapes look really good, but with an FPV, if you fly and get a big open landscape, it's like, eh, it's all right, it's not that exciting. But when you're really close to objects and you're, and you're flying around and you're moving up, down, left, right, and going through objects, that's where FPV drone footage really stands out. So one of the things that you're gonna wanna learn is how to fly closer to objects and do it in a safe way so that you could get these dynamic looking shots. And the fourth way that you're gonna be able to get good looking footage from this drone is really follow the story. At the end of the day, the story is what's most important to what you're crafting. Throwing FPV footage randomly into your video doesn't make your video better. However, if there's a scene where using an FPV drone is gonna make sense and it's gonna, and the style of footage really makes sense, well, then it's gonna enhance what you're crafting. And so, for example, I was out doing some overlanding with my buddies and there was this moment where we were stuck on this hillside with all this sand and we wanted to amp up the energy for this moment. Hey guys, what do you think? So we're coming down this trail and there's this really cool spot that we want to go film. I think it might work well for what we're trying to do here, but uh, there's a giant hill in the way. So instead of having like a drone up in the sky, just watching what happens, having a drone in the space flying next to the trucks really ramped up the energy of what was going on and enhanced the scene to really put the viewer in the perspective of, of what was happening as we were trying to get up this hill and get through the sand. So the things that you'll play around with is the speed and also how you fly it through and around objects that's going to help enhance your story. But always think through when you're filming, Will this help tell the story 
Or is this style of footage actually gonna hurt the story? It's distracting having this FPV style where the, the horizon's dipping and you're moving really fast. Sometimes it's not needed. Sometimes you just want a normal style drone up in the sky, just getting a nice wide shot, moving really slowly. Different styles of shots are gonna work for different things that you're filming and different scenes that you're filming. FPV has a very distinct style. It's fun. I love shooting FPV. And if you're someone who's just flying FPV drones for fun, then this really doesn't apply to you. This is just if you're someone who really wants to use FPV footage in other styles of videos. But if you're someone who's just going out, having fun, wanting to fly your drone, well, take it off, go have fun. Go fly through and around objects because it is a ton of fun to fly this drone. And you don't have to have a purpose for the footage. You could just want to fly the drone and play around with it flying through different objects. Next, make sure you check out this video right here, which goes through my nine shot formula so that you can always get good footage when you're out filming. I'll see you over there.